A couple years ago, while setting up a social media account for an online community that I was to share with another user, I insisted that a long password be set for the account to prevent compromise. The other user couldn't understand why I was concerned about compromise, saying, and I quote, ever heard of living life on the edge? Which is the equivalent of saying, have you ever felt the white knuckled exhilaration of walking around with your pants off? Later, while having a discussion on IT security, someone opined that the best security was to not have anything to steal at all. Which is the equivalent of saying that the best way to avoid a home burglary is to be homeless. The fact of the matter is, in 2024, we all have digital identities to take care of. Even if you don't use social media, you still have things like a bank account or accounts for government websites. You have stuff to steal, no matter what you think, and you're in for a hell of a time if those accounts get compromised. Not to mention that advice is completely useless to most people. I have accounts that my employer expects me to keep secure. I have accounts with admin and moderator access on some websites. I have accounts with private communications with friends and family. I have to keep them secure. Yet the average attitude towards cybersecurity is that it's too much of a hassle to deal with. So people set insecure passwords or reuse the same password on multiple sites. Getting an account compromised is not the lighthearted, no big deal affair that people's nonchalant attitudes toward it would imply. It is a violation of trust. Your employer isn't going to trust you if your work account gets compromised. Online communities aren't going to trust you if your admin account gets compromised. Your friends and families are going to have a hard time trusting you if your private communications with them gets leaked. There are real, serious consequences for poor cybersecurity practices. An account compromise doesn't just affect you. It affects multiple people. To think otherwise is to be selfish and naive. I think it's time for the average person to take cybersecurity a little more seriously. And it's not even that hard. I am not a cybersecurity expert. I'm just an average Joe who's trying to keep his digital identity secure. My cybersecurity solution is simple. I use a reputable password manager. I use Bitwarden, I'll share that. It's free, syncs to all of your devices, and it makes it very easy to set long, secure, unique passwords for all of your accounts. I use it with a strong, secure password. Just one password that I have to remember. And I use biometrics so I don't have to re-enter the password all the time. And I set up two-factor authentication on it, and any other accounts that offer it. That's it. That's the most basic way of safeguarding yourself. It's not even that hard. In fact, it's easier now that I don't have 100 crappy passwords to remember. It is true that more security makes things less convenient. And so a balance needs to be struck between good enough security and good enough convenience. And we've reached a point where a perfect balance exists for the average Joe. The issue isn't with technology. The issue is with people's mindsets. No amount of cybersecurity technology matters if people are still setting terrible, insecure passwords. People may think I'm paranoid, but it's better to be a little paranoid than to be very sorry. Okay, I've ranted enough. Future Enoch, I'll see you next week.